Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the week 14, April the 3rd through April the 9th weekly sneak peek. This is the weekly sneak peek and if you are looking for more information I'm just going to like quickly go over everything that I talk about but you can find a full video of these reviews and things like that over on my patreon uh, link down in the description thoughts feelings uh, star ratings steam fans all of that over on my patreon but we're gonna quickly go over some of the things that you will see in that video as well as um, where else you can find it so last week I had a lot going on um, I got officially was able to like show you guys my car um, kiddo had his birthday which if you are still interested he's still fundraising um, and that links gonna be down in the description box as well um, you can just donate or if you're in the Washington DC see Virginia area and you have access to some of the locations that um, they are raffling off you can uh, you know do that that link is in my link tree um, or in the description box um, but I got some stuff and I did an Instagram video for that which you will be able to go see all of my first reactions to all of the stuff um, but that stuff was I got my spring Willow Winters box. You can't see it, but I unboxed that over there. I also got copies of Gold Lust by Alethea Romig and The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. The amazing Peyton Banks sent me a copy of Mr. Uh, Mr. Hotness. Thank you again, Peyton. Someone mysteriously sent me all three of the TLC pops that I had on my wish list. That was T-Boz. This is Chile. And then we have Left Eye. So thank you to that mystery buyer. I greatly appreciate it. I can't wait to put them in my room. Um... And I also got some new glasses, so let's check those out. Um, let me know down in the comment section which um, which glasses you like the most. Now, be in mind when you're picking which one looks the best. Um, I will be changing my hair, and I know that some of the glasses will go better with different hairstyles. Um, but let me know what you think of the frames. Like, really, what you think of the frames. So we have pair number one. Rocking the green, right? Mm -hmm. How are we liking this one? Then because blue is my favorite color, we had to get these. When they popped up, I was like, uh -huh. I must, I must have them. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Then we got this pair. Ooh. Because I love a cat eye. Mm. And then we got this pair of pink. And I really think this one's going to look really, really cute with a uh, little bob going on, you know, type thing and things like that but we're going to wear this pair for the rest for the remainder of the video um so let's get into the books that i did read last week um i think that was it oh i have a before we get into last week's books remember this week i have a let me introduce you coming out on thursday at noon um you will get quite a few videos this week i have my march um wrap up coming out wrap up in stats then we have this one of course you guys are getting this one um over on instagram you will find that whole book 
um, mail haul video coming out this week. And I think that was it. Yes, that is it. But all that is coming out. So now let's jump into the books that I finished last week. I finished Carter's Flame, which is a rescue for number two, Townsend number one by Tiffany Patterson, placing this in contemporary uh, interracial romance, giving it 4.25 stars, giving it 3.5 steam fans that had this as an audio book through Hoopla. Thank you, Hoopla. Um, well, thank you, my library system. This is a Black author. There are some content warnings for this one. We have classism, racism, uh, deadbeat father using their child as blackmail. Um, and this story revolves around Carter, who is a former special forces soldier that turns into a firefighter or becomes a firefighter. He's also from a fairly rich family, um, but he has chosen the path of service. And when he goes on a call one day to an accident, he meets Michelle. She is involved in this traffic accident. And he is the first one that kind of responds to her and is holding her hand throughout the rescue. And they find that they have a connection. And um, they end up bonding over Michelle's uh, young child, but also there are some twists and turns that come along with it. We are still following the overarching series um, topic of an arsonist within the city, and I am really enjoying this series. I cannot wait to read more, and uh, their story, Michelle and Carter's story was super sweet and super fun, and those little twists and turns, uh, even the deadbeat dad, you felt that he was the villain. You knew that he was the villain. There was no redeeming qualities about him and I really appreciated the way that everything was handled when it came to that situation. The next book that I finished was A Broody Brit by Naima Simone, Fear None by A. Marie Avant, Worship by Trilina Pucci, and finished off the week by finishing Depraved by Trilina Pucci. So what am I currently reading? I am currently reading The Rogue Crown by A.K. Mulford, Emmanuel's Heat by Tiffany Patterson, Most Eligible Billionaire by Annika Martin, and This is Wild by Natasha Matson. So those are the things that you can find more information on over on my Patreon, as well as getting some early access to things. And I am planning some um, amazing things coming up next month uh, for the Patreon as well. Um, so let me know which frames you like the most down in the comment section. Um, are you watching Veda? Are you enjoying those videos? I'm having so much fun creating those for you guys. Um, so I really hope that you are enjoying them as well. Make sure you're watching the Let Me Introduce You series. I have more authors coming soon and um, I hope you are enjoying the ones that have been released. Like I said, there's another one coming on Thursday this week. Uh, and this is one of my favorite ones. Other than that, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. My PayPal, my Patreon, and all my other social links are down in the description box as well. And this week and for the next couple weeks, my son's fundraiser for his swimming is going to be down there as well as other information. So make sure you're checking the description box. I have lots of stuff down there. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in another video. You don't see